Studson Studio presented his patrons with an art challenge themed Nature is Healing. Yes, I pay Studson to make entertaining videos. Don't forget that you pay Disney for this. Anyway, my project is based on the scene from the Lord of the Rings where Frodo and Sam walks by a decapitated statue's head covered in flowers. The scene is kind of sad in the movie, but it's also kind of beautiful. I had this failed print of my head. It doesn't look much like the head in the movie, but that's okay. It's just an inspiration after all. A mound shaped piece of XPS is hot glued to a 2x2 two two inch piece of chipboard. Then the face is hot glued to the mound. I mix up a small batch of sculptor mold to tie the piece together. You or I can use wall filler, clay or something else and get the same result. But since I've never used sculptor mold before, I wanted to try it out. Next, I sprinkle on some army painter dirt and some backyard dirt to get a dirt texture. I also used some of the homemade flocking I made in the Zelda inspired DD treehouse video. I sealed it in with isopropyl alcohol and watered down PVA glue. Once dry, I sanded the edges. I then made a dark brown wash and brushed it all over. And I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't he be base coating that with black mud podge or at least spray it with the senatal highlight? Well, I could, but sometimes it's just fun to try something different. And you're not doing anything wrong by testing something new. Anyway, it's just paint, and it can be painted over, which is what I'm doing here. I'm adding more reds, yellows and light grays to the highlights. The king needs his crown, so I'm super gluing some cheap hobby store moss to the base. More also purple alcohol and more glue. I sprinkle on fine turf locking to blend the moss to the rest and to add additional texture and color. The edges are washed with the same dark brown wash from earlier to bring focus to the head in the middle. I saw this flower power trick of just adding paint directly to the flocking in Studson Studios beautiful diorama build. Go check it out. I thought the base looked a bit uniform. So I added dry pigments. This has the added bonus of making the statue look even older. Then a last layer of wash to the face for even more contrast and depth.
I really enjoyed this little challenge. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.